When discussing the Pythagorean theorem, it's traditional to label the right triangle as follows. C is the right angle, the side opposite C, the hypotenuse. B is uh, the base of this right triangle. Angle B is opposite B, and little a is the height of this right triangle, one of the legs, and it's opposite A. With that labeling of the right triangle, we often quote the Pythagorean theorem as saying that it's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. What we're going to look at is the law of cosines as being a generalization of the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem actually talks about a relationship between three sides of a triangle that happens to be a right triangle. So we know something about three sides, so it's a relationship between three sides and one angle of the triangle. The law of cosines is also a relationship about three sides and one angle. Often a textbook lists three different formulas for the law of cosines. By choosing this form of the law of cosines, it's easy to see that it's very closely related to the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared and then minus the fudge factor is equal to c squared. It's also easy to see that this needs to be a minus if c is an acute angle. You see if a and b maintain the same size that they were in the Pythagorean theorem when we had a right angle and we've made that angle smaller then c has become smaller, so we'll need to subtract a fudge factor from this side. Now, note that that's not a proof 